um, saying this in a bit different manner um, because we had a lot of in-depth discussions uh, about our challenges and our enablers. Um, so we managed to go through three of them, the produce responsibility for materials. Um, the things that we kind of identified as quite key is change policy and regulation basically um, around what happens at the moment. Um, we need more focus on, on things that we now dilute and we do not recover, such as our technology metals. We talked quite a bit about how at the moment the way we recycle is not fit for purpose and that we shred everything so we lose a lot of useful materials or we downcycle. So we need to think about the dismantling and the disassembly um, to separate different materials, components, etc. cetera. Uh, so we need a different methodology there. Um, um, I'll just move a little bit on the foresighting technology, which was another one of the priorities we looked at. Uh, we discussed about the leasing model and how that can be useful. One key message that came out of this is that we have to take good examples from the aerospace sector because they are doing a lot of material circulated that the automotive and other sectors are hard struggling to do. Obviously there is the values associated with that, uh, which is a bit of an issue for the automotive sector, uh, but there are a lot of good um, cross, cro I don't know, um, working across the aerospace sector can help us to uh, develop useful methodologies for other transport systems. Uh, we talked about material leasing, designing design, which is something that, doing that goes back to the dismantling, uh, thinking about the longevity of design and components we use, and the necessity for global coordination systems and standards that's um, um, across the globe. Sorry, I didn't manage 